women are technically sent to earth to save men and domesticate them. Literally. But some men don't want to be saved. That nigga ain't want to be saved. He still belongs to the streets. I think eventually most men figure out that they should have accepted some love like that. And then there's other men who will prefer to just run the streets for eternity. And that's cool too. But he can't be for me. Can't be for me. So you started out by way of a session I had with Normani and DJ Camper. He played a couple of beats and I kept telling him to play the To You beat because I wanted to see if she liked it. And he played it a bunch of times and she was just like, she didn't really like it like that. But I had already had like a, a melody a little bit. I didn't really have the words. Like a song, anytime I make a song, it doesn't usually start with the words. In my opinion, for a beat to be attractive, I think it should just be different. When a beat is more unique, I feel like it evokes more unique lyricism for me. Guess it's best to get this out in the open. Like my heart was once, but now it's closing. I start the song with that line because I'm talking specifically to somebody. He know who he is. I'm trying to express more of what I should have said. I just wanted him to know that he could have told me whatever, you know, and it would have been better than not telling me, to say the least. We're lost and a little unfocused, but maybe you hoped I wouldn't notice. Disappointed is the least I could say. Disappointed is such a significant word to me in general. If you hear me say I'm disappointed in you, you fucked up. Like, fully fucked up. He wouldn't go have extremely significant relationships. They would be really insignificant relationships, but it would cost us, like, so much. If you got it out in the open initially and you said, hey, I want to see other women, it would have made it easier on me you know, to dictate how we should go about it. But if you can't do that, then you can't do anything. Who well, knew these women would lead you astray? I guess you just want to live life outside a cage. And I hope you change. This one guy, we still have a relatively cool relationship. I don't hate him. And I tell him this all the time. If he continues to have relationships similar to what ours was like, he'll never get anywhere with that. Like, he'll be unsatisfied and miserable forever if he doesn't get it right on his end. You know, you can't just run through a million women and make the assumption that it's not working out because they're not the right woman for you when you're not right. But look at what we made. Sure was beautiful. Now I lay it in a grave. Now I'm all covered in dirt. The memories that were made were beautiful. However, when it started to fuck up and you start to sweep it under the rug like it's still a lump in the rug me personally I, I try to carry myself over to new relationships but it's still you know like I still am a little dirty from my past relationships and I try to behave but whenever they play a song don't know why I feel ashamed don't know why I don't belong. You know how when you date somebody and maybe during that time it was like a particular album or like there was just something that y'all binged, something that was just y'all shit, like, and then it's like you move on and then you hear it again. Frank Ocean's album, Blonde. I'm telling you, I used to run this album into the ground with this boy, like run it into the ground. It's the worst when I'm with somebody new or if I'm with somebody new and I get like a old memory just slaps me in the face my whole demeanor is like different. Like I start feeling dumb, awkward. Like I don't wanna even, like I just wanna go like, you know, I don't know. But does that mean I'm not over it? Is that what that means? I hope not. First fly back to Atlanta, five years later. Wish I listened when they told me, don't ever accept no favors. My parents are not the type to tell you to accept anything from anybody. They will never tell you that. Like you'll never hear my father or my mother be like, oh, they offered you that? Take that. I will not take anything from anybody. Like don't offer me nothing. I don't want your help. Don't offer me any help. Like it's cool. Like I will literally carry 15 bags, have bags on my ankles just so I don't have to ask for help. Cause when I get it all up there, I don't want you like digging in it. 2 a.m. in the parking garage, it's clearly a no brainer. 
should have left you last July, but I was only trying to save us. My old apartment, I would come home and it would be late at night and I would sit there and I would think either I would be trying to write a song like this song, I was like trying to finish in a parking garage. A lot of times I would just be sitting in the parking garage thinking and, and sitting there like thinking, thinking long and hard. You should have been left. This nigga, why are you doing this? You know, like wasting your time. Why am I going back and forth with this nigga? I should have been, did this a long time ago, you know, but it was just a beautiful situation in my brain or it could have been. The potential was beautiful. Maybe it's these memories or maybe it's the chase. Or maybe it's whenever I roll over to your face. Whatever it is, I know you don't want to be saved. No, I never thought it would go up in flames. I really like this guy. As an individual, at least, I thought he was really cool. Like, in every aspect, I thought he was so cool. I thought he had the appeal to either be my husband or the appeal to be the father of my children. You realize that just because you like somebody as an individual doesn't mean that y'all will work together. I was chasing the potential. We were chasing what it could have been. There's no point in chasing something, you know. It's at least when it comes to relationships, I don't think. I mean, I send him all of my music ahead of time. Almost like for him to brace himself, you know, because I know for a fact a lot of it's unexpected. And like I said, a lot of it is um unfinished conversations, like unfinished business. 